Hey everybody, it's Troy. Today we're going to take a look at Modicia OS. I took a look at this operating system about six months ago and was thoroughly impressed. It is probably one of the most complete operating systems out of the box that I have ever had the chance to actually use. Now, if you want to go over their website, it's modiciaos.cloud, and I'll be sure to include that link in the description below, so if you like what you see, you can zip over and download it yourself. And when you come to their website, they have a really beautiful website, and they offer three different versions of this operating system. Now, Modicia OS is based on Zubuntu, and you can get it in three different flavors, which is Ultimate, Enterprise, and Education. In Ultimate, you get a specific set of applications. LibreOffice, Master PDF, Office 365. It's like a web app that you can use directly on the desktop. GIMP Shop, Raw Therapy, MyPaint, KNation. And then on Enterprise, you get things like RSync, Samba, FileZilla, Master PDF, Wine. And then on Education, you get a lot of K programs, K Geography, K Word Quiz, K Stars. You got Gnome Paint, Canagram, G Compress. And then if you come down a little bit, it's got a couple different reviews, and they actually still have my review from six months ago on their website. Now, the main features of Ultimate Enterprise and Sound, there are seven specific main features to each distribution. The first feature is Turbo Boost processors are active by default. So if you have a processor that supports Turbo Boost, it's activated by default. You don't have to worry about it. Number two, swappiness is reduced to 10% and programs are faster than 25% and, consequent, and consequently also increases the life of your SSD. Data in RAM memory is compressed with a speed reading and write of 20%. Wine, Samba, R-Sync is already configured and they're active out of the box. Number four, if you press Alt and Spacebar, the launcher application menu will appear. Number five, all programs have various language and dictionaries available already installed out of the box. So what that means is you're going to have a lot of European languages already there and American English is already there. Number six, from the context menu, wherever you are, you can activate the Windows Expose. And then number seven, you can quickly start displaying desktops, Windows, application menus with the super key, which is either Windows or the Mac key. Scroll down a little bit more and they give you a little bit of information. Their education version right now is currently installed in over 12 schools and institutes. And it has a user base of 1,700 students every day. You will find useful and tested applications, tools, complete with plugins, and they're already pre-configured. And down here, it's got a list of some of the schools. And then you've got Modicia OS Sound for audio production. Comes with Wine, Wine Config, Wine Tricks, Jack, Jack Audio, Video Clip. When you come over to their website, this breaks it all down for you and it's easy to see that this distribution is a very complete distribution. And then down here, you've got user manuals, English, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, French, I'm not sure what PT is, and what professional use. Use every day in offices, graphic studios, and schools. They got right here, you got company software development, ISMA primary and secondary and territory schools, and MH professional photo video productions. And then you can download it down here. Now I do want to show you this because I've had people in the past that have watched the previous video and said, it's great you can go to their site, but it takes you directly to a donate button and doesn't let you download it. Let's go ahead and cover that. You come down here, you've got the Community Edition, the Enterprise Edition, or the Pro Edition. Now the Community Edition comes with the Ultimate ISO, Server Link, Installable System. It doesn't come with free support. Now if you go over to the Enterprise, you get email support 24-7, development team, in one email support troubleshooting and advice configuration, and then on the Pro Assistant, you get that coverage for a full year. And that's a paid version, but you don't have to pay for it here. So to download it, all you gotta do is click free, start, and it brings you to this screen right here. And everybody gets to this screen and says, it just doesn't work, I can't download it. Go to community, click community, and it'll bring you over here and they say, they want my money, but they won't let me download it. See this right here, Modicia OS Ultimate 22.4.8, click it. Come right here, click download. This page will pop up, close it, 
and it started downloading in the background. That's as easy as I can make it. Now let's go back to their homepage. Like I said, I will include the link in the description below, so that way if you're interested in taking a peek at it, you can zip on over and download it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually fire it up in a virtual machine and take a look at it. Now if you download Medisha OS, throw it on a USB, or put it into a virtual machine and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. Now, if you notice, you have a panel up top. You've got access to your desktop, files, documents, music, pictures, and videos. And then over here, you have power button to eight in time, sound, battery charge, notifications, and then of course your internet. And then if you come down here, you've got a dock-like interface that lets you get to anything that you wanna put on it. You can pin different things down here so they're quick to access. And then up here, you've got just a little conky that lets you know what CPU usage is and what your RAM is. Now you notice it comes with just a plain wallpaper out of the box. So what we're gonna do is right click. We're gonna come down to desktop settings. And what I wanna do real quick is pick a background. And let's go with something like that and close. And there's a darker background and it makes everything pop just a little bit more. Like I said, this is based on Zubuntu. Now you've got different things you can do down here. What I like doing right off the bat with this is this is the app expose. I wanna move this over by my expose. Now to get to your different desktops and things like that, you just click on expose and it brings your desktops up over here. You've got three of them. Or you can also do a search up here for specific application. Let's put in disk and there you have disk usage analyzer, disks, G smart control, install. So let's go ahead and open up disks and it'll open up right here and you're good to go. Now you also have the availability that if you're not in Expose, you can go to an app Expose right here and there's all your apps that are presently installed on this system. Now I wanna to touch base on something right here because I'm gonna have a lot of people in comments or I might not. I may not have to deal with a lot of trolls in this situation. I'm gonna have some people in the comments get on the comments and go, this is ridiculous. This operating system is a bloated mess. Why are you gonna have all of these applications in there, blah, 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 that's what's gonna say, bloat, bloat, bloat. Let me go ahead and clear something up in my point of view. My point of view is if you're talking about bloat, let's look at Windows 11. What I call bloat on Windows 11 are applications that are not useful to me. Candy Crush, games, any crap like that. What I like in this operating system is every application on here is something that is useful, something that can be used. It's not a waste of space. It's not something that's asking for me to spend more money on it. It's not a game. It is an application that can be utilized and used. So in my opinion, it is not bloat. It is a tool that I can use to complete what I wanna do. Now, if you disagree with me, I'm sure you're gonna let me know in the comments, but this operating system comes packed with a lot of useful tools, and it's not bloat. That's my opinion. Now, we're gonna come back down to the bottom. You've got screenshot right here. You just click on it, and it would take a screenshot, of course. Then you've got your file manager, which everybody knows if you're dealing with a Zubuntu, you're gonna have Thunar File Manager. Now, what you do notice is when you go full screen, you do have a global menu up here. You've got File Edit View Go Help. You've got your usual suspects over here, and then you've got your home folders right here. Now, what I like about Thunar, it's not as feature packed as some other file managers out there, but it lets you get your job done and just basically stays out of the way. That's what a file manager is supposed to do, and I think it does a fine job at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. And as you can see, when you close, the global menu goes away and you've got your desktop files, documents, and music pops right back up. I love the smoothness of this operating system. It really is very responsive, and you can tell that it's been worked on for years. Now, if we come back down here, you've got USB stick formatter. If you need to format a USB stick, you've got that tool right there on your dock. And then you've got system monitor. Now, what you're gonna notice with system monitor is when you pull it up, especially if you've got it in a virtual machine, it's gonna tell you right over here that it's using 1.5 gigabytes, but it's really not. There's some of this operating system that runs in RAM. So that's why I really like having Stacer on here because when you open that up, it's gonna give you a true readout of what you're actually using in RAM to run the operating system. And right now you're sitting at about 950, 985, it's climbing a little bit, but it should hover around 1.1. 1 
and that's about right. You're using about 1.1 to 1.2 gigs to run this system in virtual, so we're gonna go ahead and quit out of that. And then you've got land share down here. If you open land share up, that's a way for you to share things between different systems on the same network. It comes in real handy. I've used this before. It's really nice. But this comes out of the box. This comes included with the Modicia operating system. And then you come back down. You've got cheese. You've got your web browser. Let's go ahead and open that up. I didn't even see if this had Firefox installed. Okay. And we open it up. And it looks as though this is Google Chrome. So the web browser out of the box is Google Chrome. Now, first thing I want to do, let's see if it's ready to go. eBuzz. I want to go ahead and look up eBuzz Central and see if that pulls it up and it does right there now my question is is does this have an alternative browser let's go ahead and close out of this because i do know there will be people out there that are happy that it does come with chrome but most of us in the open source community won't be so let's go to app expose and look up firefox it doesn't come with firefox so let's put in browser so the only browser you're getting out of the box is google chrome but we'll go over installing software here in a little bit and i'll show you how you can get rid of chrome and put firefox on it and then we can come back down here you've got mail reader xnview multi-platform vlc media player audacious libreoffice and then of course you've got trash and now what i want to do is go up here and I want to look at settings. So you've got Expose, you've got RSync, real-time kernel for multimedia, system monitor, time shift. That's going to come in handy. Time shift, if you need to make a backup or a snapshot of your system, zip on over to time shift and you can make a snapshot of your system. So that way, should you have any problems, you can always go back, back to a time that you had a system that was fully operational. So what I'm going to do is just right click down here, system monitor, calculator, translate, desktop settings, applications, settings manager. Let's open that up. And what I want to see right off the bat is you've got appearance panel. So I just hit update the kernel. It's based on Ubuntu. So I'm going to say we're probably using long term support kernel. But there's your settings and everything that you have right there. Now I do want to go and see exactly how we install software. So we've got Accessories, let's just go up here and type software. There's software updater, app grid. Let's go ahead and open that up. So you can look at different apps here, I guess. PDF chain. Can you do a search? Can we look for something like OBS Studio? And would that work? There's OBS Studio, so let's click right there. We're not able to show any reviews at this moment. So you could just install from right there. So that's pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And I do believe you have Synaptic Package Manager on here as well. So we'll go to Software, and there is Synaptic Package Manager right there. As most of you know, if you watch any of my videos, I love Synaptic Package Manager. And if you haven't seen it before, it's one of those that it's really just a type search install type package manager. So you'd come over here. Let's put in something like OBS Studio, and we do a search on it and it pops up right here. You just click right there, mark for installation. It'll show you all the dependencies that you have down here. Mark those dependencies and then come up here and apply and you would install OBS Studio on your system. Now, what you could do before you apply is go over here and look for different applications. You could look for something like Shotcut and do a search for it and there's Shotcut right there. You can go ahead and mark it, mark it for installation and then you got shortcut marked, you've got OBS Studio marked, and basically you could fill this up with applications that you wanted to install. Once you got them all selected, come up there, click apply, and it would install all of them at the same time. So that makes things rather easy. Now, is it easy to just put applications on the launcher? What if we come up here? What if we wanted to add that? Can you right click it, add to panel, or is it already there? No, it's not there. Would you add it to favorites? No. Or do you just drop and drag? And can you drag? Okay, you can just drop and drag it to add it to dock. Okay, that's pretty simple. That's pretty easy. So let's come back down here. I'm going to go ahead and open up App Expose. And we're just going to kind of cover over some of the applications that you have pre installed. And you've got uh, Airmore, Animated GIF, Audacity, Audacious, Convert All, Clipboard Manager, Blue Griffin, Blender, Bleach Bit, Evolution Mail, Expose, G Labels, Fonts, Google Chrome, Laptop Mode, LibreOffice Suite your Microsoft Excel, Microsoft OneDrive, PowerPoint, and Word. These are web apps. Natron, Notes, Plank Bar Settings, and you can come down a little bit more. You got WhatsApp, VLC. 
you've got a ton of applications installed out of the box and there's qubit torrent for your torrent downloads if you all want a complete operating system which basically means you download it you throw it on a usb you install it or you download it open up in a virtual machine and you're pretty much ready to go with your daily routine or your daily work Modicia OS is solid. Modicia OS is probably one of the most complete operating systems I've ever looked at. I say, and this is my opinion because I'll have people that come in my comments and beat me up, it is more feature rich and better looking than Linux Mint. It's got the same base that Linux Mint has. It's based on Ubuntu. This is based on Xbuntu. It's there. The foundation is there. And on top of that, Modisha is already being used in government offices and in schools. I really think if you want something that's complete and you want something that's beautiful, because right now, I really think this right here, the way it sets, looks much better than Mac OS. I like the smaller icons down here. Mac OS is huge. I think it's easier to install applications on here than it is on Mac OS. Yes, Mac OS is number one in a lot of other areas but if you're leaving windows or you're leaving mac this is definitely an os i would suggest you take a look at what do you think is modicia os something you're already using or is it something you might download throw on a usb or put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive let me know that in the comments below do me a big favor before you leave today please like this video. If you like my videos, I get included more into the YouTube algorithm and more people will enjoy what this video is about, especially if you find things in it that are interesting. There are other viewers out there that would find the same things interesting. So please like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, throwing us a donation on PayPal, or zipping on over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.